Hello, um, I'm going to try again. I'm sorry I got cut off last time. I'm just talking really about the fact that the mainstream media, the Western mainstream media, have got its knickers in a twist, completely in a twist, about this small fire in a bucket on a train in, in London. It's a small fire. It wasn't a massive terrorist attempt, and it certainly, it was an amateur thing, and I don't care. They keep talking about how it was like the mother of all bombs, really. It wasn't the mother of all bombs. Nothing bloody happened. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the whole mainstream media is ignoring the genocide and ethnic cleansing of the Ring and Muslims. What the hell has the world come to? What the bloody hell has the world come to if the mainstream media can still be harping on about a small fire in a bucket and a woman with a bandage round her head with not a speck of dust on her from this so-called fireball that ripped through the carriages? It's all utter bollocks and I'm sick of it. I am sick of this scaremongering mainstream media. That's what they're still doing. They're still scaremongering about that small event about that ridiculously small event. And meanwhile, hundreds of thousands of Rohingya Muslims are being murdered every day. Do you know what they do? Do you know what I saw the other day? I saw a man, a man take off his shoes and pick up a baby. And he took off his shoes so he could swing around and throw that baby in a fire. And throw that baby in a fire. Now that's real. That's real. So why the bloody hell, why the bloody hell are the mainstream media ignoring that? How can they ignore that and concentrate on a poxy little fire that wasn't even a fire, it looked like a match had lit? It just, I can't bear to see the suffering and I can't bear to see this one-sided bullshit. We have to start standing up to our media. If you are still paying your television license in Britain, stop! Because you don't, de they don't deserve a bloody penny of it. Well, they can ignore, they can ignore babies being trodden on and burned. Well, they can do that. Well, they, well, they can do that and concentrate on scaremongering and fearmongering about ISIS and Islamic terrorism. Look what Buddhists, so-called Buddhists, are doing to hundreds of thousands of people, but the mainstream media in the West doesn't give a shit about them because they're Muslims. They deserve to live in peace and have a land of their own. Or if they can't have a land of their own, at least be deemed as equal citizens. Equal citizens in the country that they're living in. How, what are they going to do? What's going to... It seems to me, it seems to me like the UN and the West are just going to let them all die. Just going to let them all die. And there'll be no ring and left. And then they'll go, oh, we should have done something. Yes, you should. United Nations. Donald Trump. Theresa May. Where are you? Where are you? Do something. What's the bloody point in the UN? What's the point in the UN? Yes, it's genocide. Yes, it's ethnic cleansing, but we're just going to sit here and do bugger all. If you could see the things that I've seen. If the mainstream media actually showed you what is happening there instead of their five minute, five minute little supposed news story. I can't bear any more of it. I can't. I can't bear to live in a world where some people are more important than other people. It doesn't matter what your religion is. It doesn't matter how wealthy you are. There is no one person any more important than another. No. So please, please, if you're seeing this, speak out for the Rohingya Muslims before there's just none of them left. Share what you find on the internet. Share, but please make sure it's the real thing. Please make sure it's really Rohingya, because I have seen a few posts that aren't Rohingya. It doesn't mean they're any less disgraceful and barbaric, but they're not. We must share the truth, because the mainstream media aren't. And when I can see a man swinging a baby round and then take off his shoes so he can turn round better before throwing them in the fire. 
women being beheaded after they've been raped. So all of you out there going on about ISIS, the beheaders, care as much about these people being beheaded. But don't you care about them because they're, they're only Muslims, Rohingyan? Don't you care about that? So not another bloody word about head choppers from you lot until you speak up for the Rohingya Muslims. Because I know fine well that one day my, my children, my grandchildren are going to ask, what did you do? And I'll say, I spoke up, at least I spoke up. And I hope, I pray, that when that day comes, the Rohingyans will be safe. But they're not. I've seen the most barbaric things I've ever seen. And I believe me, I've seen some bloody awful shit. I've seen some terrible, terrible things. But there is nothing, I've seen nothing like the abomination that is happening to the Rohingya Muslims. They need our help. We are their only voice because the world, governments, everybody are taking no notice of them. Apparently, this... Whatever her name is, and some whatever her bloody name is, wouldn't let the United Nations in to the country. What bollocks is that? Go in anyway. If there was oil there, they'd be in it like bloody Flynn, wouldn't they? So what's the difference? Come on, tell me. Tell me, world. Tell me, United Nations. What is the difference? Why aren't you going in stopping a genocide? Why? Tell me why. When you go into every other bloody country that, that doesn't agree with what you want, you go in there marching and all over the place. And our media, our media is an absolute bloody disgrace. A disgrace. They can ignore the fact that women are being raped and beheaded. Children, I've seen children having their heads stood, a man stood on the head of a toddler. For the love of God, help them.